On to race number two and the second event uh, on the program. Drop back to class five. We drop back to the 1400 metres as well, headed by Lucky Storm and uh, Joe Moreira for John Moore. First time in this grade. Act Tudor and Newswire Free get wide gates. Ambitious Speedy, a two time course and distance winner. Triumphal Trumpet gets the blinkers on for the first time. Golden Cannon, course and distance winner, three starts back. Scarborough Fair yet to win in 14 starts. Snow Who's runner up behind Ra Chu last time out. That Dong Wong Choi, who's yet to win in 22 starts. Class 5, 1400 metres for the Aquamarine. Um, Ototo did lead last start with young Jack Wong aboard and ran a very cheeky race. There's every chance he's going to do that again. Jimson the Famous is coming in fresh, but he looks well prepared, has looked sharp in his work leading in. Golden Cannon is a horse that can roll four, but most of the season, particularly the last few months, he's just locked, lost a little bit of speed, but he is still racing well. This is the downgraded horse, uh, Lucky Storm, doing everything he has to down the back straight. Uh, Joe Moreira is aboard and uh, he jumps aboard for the first time. So uh, he's, he's waited till the horse has been downgraded and jumped aboard there. Triumphal Trump is an interesting one because he's got uh, blinkers on for the first time and uh, he's got a good barrier draw. Comes in at barrier number one. He's had the eight starts now, uh, Triumphal Trumpet. Do we get the trumpet call? I'm done blowing uh -oh. my horn, Paul. OK. <laughs> and Snow Hoops has only had one start for uh, Chris Save before. You can see Karis Deaton aboard for this particular piece of work here. He's another one that's drawn well. And uh, he doesn't run too badly in uh, Class 5. He's getting down towards the bottom of it, though. No, I, I did say I'd put it away until he wins. Yeah. I reckon he might come close, quite yeah, close I've got him here with the, the, uh, with the blinkers on as well. Let's start off, though, with um, a Toto and Soccer Brave. One of a Toto's better efforts um, here, finishing in fourth place. Uh, Victor Wong on board once more, taking that weight off. C plus three course with Victor Wong aboard. Now, he's dropped 20 pounds in body weight coming into this as well. So he's a pretty fit horse coming in. This is one of his better runs. Um, if he if he leads and nothing takes him on, as per that speed map, I think he can be there for a long, long period. Of, I found one to beat him, but I've got him in for second. I think I think he'll take all the running down, Paul. I just he's had a, this will be his third run for Tony Millard. Um, he's got the claimer on. He's going to jump to the front. It all sort of tick, tick, tick for Jack Wong style. I think your best style. He's one on horses coming from the back, um, and opposition. If there is something to test him early, that'll be his downfall. If there isn't, I think he'll win. All right, OK. Uh, ambitious Speedy fared best of uh, this bunch. But you could probably make an argument for a few of them, including Triumphal Trumpet, who sort of ran a bit in snatches. Yep. I, um, with the blinkers going on and obviously just having his second run in the grade, considering I've tipped him to be a chance in four, I need to consider him here. Um, Don Wong Choi's run some reasonable races earlier on in the season. If he is to roll forward, he could be one that could potentially sort of match the speed early. I don't know whether he's capable. And there's a lot of questions, marks about capability alongside of these runners, Paul. Yeah, I've got Golden Cannon on top because he, he, he did pull in the early stages of that race and I thought he ruined his chances. But at the end, he looked really strong and yeah. hit the line very strongly. He's only a little angry horse as uh, Golden Cannon. But um, his track work's always good, and he's, uh, he always tries hard. And most of his runs early on, leading. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he has been very consistent, hasn't he, right yeah. throughout the, yeah. uh, the season. All right, that's uh, Golden Cannon. Uh, two more to take in. Uh, Snow Hooves here, only just denied. And uh, Scarborough Fair, who's um, starting to look a little bit frustrating for me. Well, Snow Hooves is another one who, in, er in the earlier stages of his career, had pace, and now he's finding the line. Scarborough Fair has, you know, been... A good candidate for Class 5, really, on his patchy form. Um, look, you can sort of make a case for both of these two on, you know, their best runs, but uh, there's long gaps between their best and their worst. Yeah, I, I didn't find a place for either one, but um, I thought Scarborough prefers better a Happy Valley horse, really. All right. Richard Gibson, incidentally, is a guest of uh, on mm. HK Direct this week as well. That's on the Multimedia Showcase with uh, John Blunt, so check that out on the website. But... Uh, Paul, who do you like here? Golden Cannon, 750 favourite. Yeah, and I've gone with him, uh, but it shows how open the race is. It's a class five race, and I, I just think he's a horse who, who has as, consist, as consistent as can be in this grade. I tell you, if he, if he gets left alone in front, he's obviously the one um, that can uh, lead them a merry dance. Lucky Storm, now he's downgraded, so he's a new kid on the block. We'll give him a chance. I threw the legend, and he's super fit, this horse, because he raced over 2,200 metres last time. Didn't suit him at all. His best run has been over 1,400 metres. Comes into the field, barrier five, Zach Purton a bit aboard. Just might sneak under a few people's guards, so I threw him in there. 6 9 one, 11. Yeah, I think there's um, there's a few that can win it, but uh, they do not chase too hard in Class 5 generally. And Ototo out in front rolling, potentially uncontested, with a £10 claim, uh, might set up an unassailable lead. Triumphal Trumpet, with the blinkers on, might do 
Best of the rest with Golden Cannon. Should he find and produce some of that early speed again, Golden Cannon? I think that's a positive um, alongside of his name with respect to winning the race. And I've thrown in Happy Century because he's, you know, thrown in a good one here or there and he's drawn low. So 9, 5, 6, 12. But I'd be banking the 9 in a trio with as many as you want. All right, yeah, it does look open, doesn't it? I've gone with Triumphal Trumpet, though. I think the blinkers will sharpen him up. All right, that's uh, two races down for Sunday's programme. Next up for us, though, is the feature race, race number three. It's the 10th anniversary Racing Club Cup.